Oh. oh boy, another day. Oh. <sighs> I can't wake up this morning. Oh. Well, let's go see about the grass. I doubt it changed overnight. It's kind of dewy out this morning, so yeah, the grass is going to be dewy. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with the weather. Oh, super. Oh. Well, let's see how the animals are doing. Wonder if I filled this up already. Yep, already filled it up. Good morning, ladies. Maybe I don't talk sweet enough to you. Yeah? It's good to see ya. It's a nice morning. Alright, we better we better check, see if there's another box. Oh well. I see a silage bale in the feeder still. So we don't have to worry about that. The water looks to be about half down. Oop. Going forward. Right about there. Come on. Helps if I get the right one highlighted. I probably passed it now. Oh, come on. You guys gotta... There it is. Yeah, I am still asleep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you weren't as thirsty as I thought. Don't tell me you guys are gonna stop growing. Chickens won't lay eggs. Cows aren't going to grow anymore. Grass won't dry. Little more. There we go. <sighs> yeah, I'll fill it next time. Well, let's see. What is on the agenda? Watch the grass dry. Let's run out and check our other field. We still don't have our wheat coming up yet. That kind of concerns me, although we didn't get it planted very early. Yeah, same with the grass. Hi, guys. Eat, drink, gain weight. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, I broke the tree planter. I got to go tell somebody about that today. 
Um, I need to fertilize the wheat again, but I can't do that until it comes up. What's the weather going to do? Weather is, oh my goodness, very drying today. All about the drying. Uh, tomorrow, oh, tonight, midnight, it's going to rain again. And again, tomorrow night. Well, it's supposed to dry today, so I hope, I hope we get that grass dried yeah the field looks so nice without weeds in it well I can cut down nine more trees I guess I'll do that this morning since I really can't do anything else And when I see it get dry and the dew is off the ground, I'll come back and check for some dry hay. I am asleep. All right, so we have the lift. We need we need the trailer. That should be over here. There we go, that's it. A little seed on there today. A little leftover. God, I did that. Oh, let's see. Where am I gonna go today? Um, I left off back in that corner. We might as well go back there again. I'm going to go chop down nine trees, probably do five and four. I think only four trees fit on the trailer at a time. Four and a half, somewhere in there. I'll go do the tree work, and when I see that the dew is gone, I'll be back with you. Or when I get done and I run out of trees. I don't know what we're going to do now because we don't have a tree planter. Okay, I'll be back with you in a little bit. I must have had something funny in my coffee this morning. I'm over here picking up the trees that I had already cut down and yeah So did I cut the bottom part of that tree off and it fell? I don't know. I don't think so. There's not a trunk down here. Yeah. I'm sure that'll get fixed. As soon as I eat something, 
It'll go away. Are you kidding me? Look at the weather. It's raining again. I mean, it's gonna rain. I can't catch a break. Don't you dare roll off. Oh, darn it. They said it wasn't supposed to rain until... It wasn't supposed to rain until tomorrow afternoon. Or tonight. Midnight. Tonight, midnight. But now they're saying rain's in the forecast, and it's probably going to be in four hours. Well, I just got done loading up the four trees that we had already cut. I didn't have to cut any trees down. Just drove over here and started. Well, I did have to chop them up. That one's going to try and roll off of there, isn't he? Let's throw a strap on there quick. So let's drive by the house. Let's raise this up. Come on. There we go. Let's drive by the house and see if a miracle happened. The miracle of drying grass that never happens. 830. That only took me, what, an hour and a half, maybe? Or was it 6.30 when we started? I don't know. My eyes are barely open now. I think this is the way to the road. I just cut sideways, and I could see the trees, and I knew where I had to be. Oh, here's the road right here. So what do you think? We got dry. Oh, we don't have dry grass. I can see it from here. Man alive! I guess I wasn't expecting it this fast this morning because it's still wet out. But for crying out loud, give me a break! Oh, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. How much money are we going to get for this load of wood? Hmm. Yeah, that makes me think. That makes me think good thoughts and feel better. Get my mind off of that non-drying grass. So I've got five more trees I can cut down. You know what? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven there. There's seven there and it's in that rocky corner. And they're already open for the day. Not as much as before. 18,000. So that was four trees. Let's try and get five. And 
I think we'll have twenty to twenty five thousand in the trailer then. You know, I don't even have to go to that stone corner. I wonder if these aren't tall trees right here. Not really. I've seen taller trees. All right. That's the patch we already cleared. Let's go this ooh, let's go this way. I see at least four tall trees and maybe there's two on the left and three on the right. That'd make five. Alright. Well, I'm gonna cut and load and load and cut and I'll get back to you. See you in a bit. Okay, I just finished dropping the fifth tree and it started to rain. I think just before it started to rain that the dew was off the ground. I want to go check. I want to go check and see if the grass did, in fact, dry out or not. I doubt it did, but better go check it. Am I going the right way? There's the road. And there's the lumber mill. Okay, yeah, this road goes to the main road. See you when we get to the house. It started raining at, what, 9.15, 9.20? When's supposed to rain until midnight? Well, it's still wet. I was just... I was just dreaming. This stuff's gonna just rot and go away. Well, I'm going to take the other road to get back to where we were cutting timber. And I'm going to get wet while I cut timber, but I'm going to cut timber anyway. We will talk to you in a little bit. Just quit raining. When it was supposed to start, it actually stopped. And then I just got the last log on there. I only put one strap on the front. I think I can double strap it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have wet crops. It rained. So it's going to be another day before we get hay. 
Dr. Seuss there. Rhyme, rhyme. But it's supposed to rain again tonight. Which means it's really gonna get, that grass is gonna start rotting. All right, I'm going to say 24,000. Oh, 22. Hey, I'm not upset. Oh, did it all go? Yeah, it did. Sometimes they hang up and they don't all drop. But those all dropped. All righty, well... We can't cut any more wood. That's everything we've got credit for. We're going to have to figure out something else or they're going to have to get that tree planter fixed. I don't know how this is going to work. I will see you when we get back to the house. What are we going to do with $41,000? It's still wet grass, or not wet grass, but dry grass. But it's not hay, it's somewhere in between. Well, it is one o'clock. I can eat some lunch. Yeah. I'm going to eat some lunch, maybe take a nap. I don't know. Well, I told them about the tree planter, and they said, yeah, they figured that something was wrong with it when they saw it sitting on the trailer out there. So they just backed it in and started working on it. It's a really old unit. They don't know if they're going to get it fixed or not. But they're going to work on it. They'll let us know. Not to worry about it. Things happen. But we kind of got used to that extra money coming in. So we're going to have to start being careful with our money if we're not going to have that little subsidy being able to just run out and cut down a tree. I guess we have some trees on our property. But... They said uh, this little annex is open now from the animal dealer and that they deal with silage bales, straw bales, and grass bales. And I said, grass bales? And he said, yep. Well... They only go for half the price of hay bales, but half price is better than no price. I'm worried if we don't do something with... Oh, this is a nice road, isn't it? I'm worried that if we don't do something with that grass laying on the ground, it's going to rot and disappear. And we're not going to get anything for it. We're supposed to... Here, let me stop. Yeah, we're supposed to get rain tonight. Again, tomorrow night. It's supposed to not rain on Saturday. But then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, rain. I don't see it drying. We. I'm just going to have to get it up. And then we'll have to wait and... I don't know when we're going to mow the other grass. And, but I guess we've got all year. There's got to be some dry window when we can mow and make hay. So, let's get home and hook up that new baler that we haven't tried yet and see what happens.
Didn't do too bad a park job there. Oh, well, before we can hook up the baler, I guess we need the windrow. So, let's see if we can figure out this windrow. Blows to the left. Well, corners are a little tough, but maybe if we just go straight lines. What if I turn around and come back? And blow this right on top of where I had it. That didn't work too bad. Let's try that again. Except you can't wind row a rock. Well, we'll have to hope we can drive by that and get it. Whoops, I missed some. Boy, these rocks just do not like me around here. Let's see, what if I... That'll work. Let's grab that baler and give that a try. I think we need to make sure the grass goes right alongside of us so that it gets picked up off to the right. But I need to open up the back flap. Nope, that drops down the front pickup. All right. There we go. Oh, and it angled it out a little bit, too. That's nice. Get it a little bit farther away from us. And that turns it on. Well, all right, here we go. How close do we need to be? there weren't all these weeds around, we'd know whether or not we were picking up all the grass. A 
Whoops. I guess it picks it up pretty good because I'm not a very good driver. And we're getting bales out the back already. got some bales that looks pretty good can't see in there oh there are little forks in there that just keep put picking it up moving it over well let's pick up the rope going back This will work good because now the rock's on the other side. If I just drive the front wheels alongside the grass, I think that'll work. That looks that looks pretty good. We'll have to come back to pick up those goofy pieces. Yeah, that's working a charm. I don't think we missed any of the windrow. That picks up nice. Oops. We missed some windrow there. I think it was kind of sticking off goofy though. Alright, well, I better get these bales out of the way, put them on the trailer, and then windrow up the rest. Boy, that's loud. Well, let's get it out of the way, I guess. Trailer. Uh, I guess we're going to use the wood trailer. Since we're not going to be doing any wood for a while. Get rid of this lift. We don't need that. That's the only uh, hay that we could make. What I got right there on the ground. That I accidentally mowed when we first picked up the machine. The mower. Oh, are you kidding? I can't hook up to this with the... Oh, I gotta have the lift on to pick that up. I forgot about that. Well, I guess we're gonna use Little Red. I guess we're just gonna use Little Red for everything. And let's see. We need to get this out of the way. Let's see. We can just grab that from here. Yes, we can. Let's go put that in the shop or in the shed here. 
Looks like a good safe spot for it. For now, anyway. I guess we'll park this down here for now. Let's see, nothing out here. Oh, there is one glare out here. I better get that. We need to save up for this extra lot on either side of us. These aren't too heavy. Hard to stack, but they're not too heavy. Don't know what I think about that. Maybe. We need to just throw them inside of a wagon because we're just going to sell them. That might be the best idea. So we can put this back on the baler, no, the windrow. And we will use the old Massey to grab the trailer, tipper, wagon, I wonder if there are some more sideboards that we can put on this to make it taller. If we can find a couple more sideboards to put on the side of that trailer, that would be handy. Let's see, they got them tucked away over here anywhere. Nope. We don't have any extra ones. I'm pretty sure they told me that we could buy more side panels for that trailer if we wanted to. And maybe that's something we'll want to do. see how this is gonna work yeah the same problem so are those gonna stay in there I don't know let's load it up and see can I take this one right off of here Nope. Won't let me.
sure would wish that these were hay bales and we'd stack them up nice and pretty and I think I threw that over the other side. <laughs> I did. All that work for nothing. Well, not nothing. I guess we'll get half price for the grass bales. And we get the bales off of the grass up here. And we can think about plowing this field up and making it into a, a real field. Not just a wild grass patch. There we go. Did we get them all? Looks like we made 10 bales out of just those two little runs. Alright, well, I'm going to do some windrowing. And I will see you a little bit later. Let's see, I probably want to throw this towards the road. So we'll go back over here. We are just finishing up the windrow portion of this job. There we go. And we need to think about trading in that windrow for something larger. And the only problem is we need a larger tractor before we can run bigger equipment. But that windrow is almost a joke. And if you think about it, I'm taking two passes to make one windrow where I could make two passes to pick up grass. So, why bother? All right, let's grab the baler. Let's go make some bales. And the baling is done, and now it's time for the stacking. And you can see I'm back on the flatbed trailer because I'm going to be able to put a lot more on here, and I'm kind of figuring out how to get them to set on there. They're hard to see in the dark. And this is going to take forever picking them up by hand. These little bales. But if I drop them right on the edge, they sink in, which I guess they pop back up, but still it messes with me. I'm going to keep doing this until I get stir crazy in the head. But it's got to be done. We have to get all this put on here before the rain comes. So I will check back in with you a little bit later. It's getting dark. 
and you can see that I'm not that awfully far yet. There are sure a lot of these little guys. Set them there, they pop up, move it over, push it back, push it in, and run get the next one. Rinse and repeat. Boing. There we go. So, just thought I'd give you the update. Uh, I'll be back with you when I get a little bit farther along. Yeah, we're still out here in the field picking up bales. We're making headway. We have an entire bottom row on the trailer. Get in there. Got to make sure the first rows are all lined up. Because they won't get better by themselves. But we've got the front row, the back row, or the side row, I mean. So we've got bumpers to put everything in. Come on, get there. We've got bumpers to slide the bales in here. So What? Oh my god, it's raining. Oh. We gotta get these put in under the shed. We don't want to get these damaged. These are good bales. Oh, was it supposed to rain already? I thought it wasn't gonna rain until in the morning. Well, maybe it was at night. I don't remember. Get in here. Please don't fight me. Oops. There we go. <sighs> That's the best back job I've done in a hurry in a long time. So now what do I do? Am I going to grab all of these bales? No. I'm, I'm done for the night. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Humble Beginnings. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It would really help. See you soon. Bye for now.